Hello friends, welcome to BSV Solution. My name is Lukesh Gandhi. In this session, we are going to look into essential feature of supply chain management. Name is inventory organization. So this is our enterprise structure where the top level enterprise capture the name of deploying enterprise and the location of headquarters. After that, we have to define the division. Under the enterprise, we can define the division. For example, Tata Group have two division. One is Tata Steel and another is Tata Motors. So you can define the division as per your requirement. But the division step is optional in the enterprise structure. Now, primary ledger. So before creating the primary ledger, we have to define 3C. 3C means accounting calendar, currency and chart of account. So when we create the primary ledger, we have to define the accounting calendar, currency and chart of account. And all three C map with the primary ledger. After that, we have to define the legal entity and the legal reporting units for the business activity. And this, this legal entity map with this primary ledger. And uh, after that, we define the business unit and to perform business unit to perform the business functions and this unit business unit map with this primary ledger we have to define already we already define all the configuration we already configure all the setups in our previous session from the enterprise to the business unit now we define the inventory organization after the business unit so an inventory organization is a physical or a logical entity in the enterprise that used to store the definition of inventory items or store and transact inventory items. So a physical entity such as the physical entity such as the, the warehouse, the distribution center and the max manufacturing in the company. This is the physical entity and the logical entity means item must organization where we can define the item, the item details, right? Now, before we have, we use organization, inventory organization, we want to define one or more inventory organization in the inventory management. So in this inventory organization, we have some attribute. We have some attribute like inventory location, primary ledger, costing method, workday calendar, workday pattern, items, they all are the attributes we have to define in the inventory organization. So in the company, inventory organization use for item, for store the item, and inventory management is associated with the one business unit, one legal entity, and one primary ledger in the company. And the warehouse, the warehouse is the the primary function of the warehouse is to store the stock of items, the stock of the product we can store over here. And the distribution center is the post production warehouse, post production warehouse for finished good held for the distribution. So this is the inventory organization. And the item master organization is for the, to define the item in the item master organization. Now, this is the inventory organization structure and inventory organization where we can store and transact the item and we can one or more sub inventory in this inventory organization. So sub inventory are the unique physical or the logical separation of the material or material sub inventory, such as the sub inventory, such as the uh, material inventory, raw material inventory, finished good inventory and the defect good inventories. These are the sub inventories. In Oracle Fusion, all the material within the organization is held in the sub inventory. We must define at least one sub inventory for every organization so that we can track the items quantity. We can track the item quantity for the sub inventory at the sub inventory level and we can restrict the item 
to specific sub inventory now in the inventory organization sub inventory may be uh, may made up of the one or two one or more locators so we can use the locator to identify the physical area the physical area in the sub inventory you can identify with the help of locators so you can track the item and you can restrict the item at the specific at specific locator now locator further divide into the row rack pin so all are in the inventory organization structure you can see in the next slide so this is the inventory organization structure we are this is our inventory organization we have the items and the we can store the items and we can transact the item inventory items and this inventory organization can have one and more sub inventory we can separate separate sub inventory like uh, raw material sub inventory finished goods sub inventory uh, defect uh, good goods sub inventory we have a different types of sub inventories in the inventory organization and for the sub inventory the locators under the sub inventory we can define the locators so with the help of locators you can identify the physical area and under the locators we can define the rows under which row we place the items and under the row we define the rack and under the rack we define the bins so bins under the bins we can define uh, we can identify the item where the where exactly locate the items in this inventory suppose we have a item in the bin b1 the row row rack rk rock rk1 row 1 and locator 2 sub inventory 2 so this is the path for the inventory organization so now move to the next slide so this is the inventory integration with the other module we have a different module in the oracle like purchasing order management cost management manufacturing and the logistic product life cycle management the all are the modules connected with the inventory organization we will see in our upcoming sessions like or uh, oracle purchasing is uh, performed uh, per perform the purchase order you can perform the place the purchase order in the purchasing and you can create the good receipt note under the purchasing and we can define the uh, sales order you can perform the sales order place the sales order and you can book the sales order in the order management and pick release ship confirm uh, sell return you can perform the sell return in the order management and purchase return in the purchasing so all are the application connected with the inventory inventory organization and we have some financial module connected with the inventory organization so we have a uh, payables receivable cash management fixed asset general ledger we can use the application all are connected with the inventory organization so oracle payables can uh, perform the payables invoice we can create the payables invoice in the payment invoice in the payables you can we, we can pay the payment for the parties and uh, we can receive the payments in the receivable and uh, we can we can store the account information in the cash management and we can perform the bank statement reconciliation in the cash management and we store the fixed asset assets information and the depreciation under the fixed asset and all the uh, transactions all the financial transactions stored in the general ledger for the reporting purpose so this is all about the uh, inventory organization in the application thanks for watching this video thank you so much